Nashville and surrounding entrepreneurs will soon have the chance to grow their businesses and test their ideas at the new Daryl S. Freeman Incubation and Innovation Center. Construction is already underway on the campus of Fisk University. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell shows us how this center will help business owners thrive. Burris Hall on the campus of Fisk University is getting completely renovated. It's going to be a new innovation center and it's not going to be just for students. It's going to be for minority business owners for them to learn and grow. Music City has had a major facelift over the last few decades and Holly Rachel says a lot of the black communities have been left behind. Overall, it really comes down to some of the systemic barriers that minorities have when it comes to uh, business ownership, home ownership, you know, education and income. Those things all contribute to whether or not a business can scale and grow. And as a tech entrepreneur, she wants to share her skill sets. And so does Lena Winfrey. Bringing in a innovation center um, for entrepreneurs, for minorities, is a great way to start. Next year, the building will transform into the Daryl S. Freeman Incubation and Innovation Center. It will be a place for Fisk teachers and students to learn. Students will get exposure to, oh, this is actually happening. This isn't just a textbook. And on the flip side, uh, companies that, that are sort of working through challenges can work with students who are subject matter experts. And for local entrepreneurs. Whether you are a restaurateur, whether you're in retail, whether you do have a tech startup, this is going to be a place where there's going to be something for you getting guidance on HR, getting guidance on government contracting and how to work with the city or the state um, as a business owner. Building a successful company isn't easy, but with an innovation center around the corner, it's going to give this 37208 community the resources to do so. In Nashville, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5. All right, Aaron, thank you. And the Innovation Center is scheduled to open at the beginning of next year. The city of Nashville allocated $10 million in federal funding to help bring that center to life. It's named after Daryl S. Freeman Jr., who passed away last year. He was a successful businessman who broke down barriers and helped out young entrepreneurs. You can read more about him on our website. That's newschannel5.com.